Hey guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I've been out here working on the gadget bike today. And uh, I've got some uh, progress to report. Uh, now that that thing is just sitting on there, I haven't tinkered with that at all today. I just stuck it on there. Still thinking about that. But what I've spent most of the day today doing was working on the induction system, you know, intake. And, uh, yep, I have decided to incorporate this uh, Clinton air filter. I took the guts out of it, and uh, I took the back of a carburetor off of a snowblower, that this screws on to this piece here and of course another piece of uh, handlebar and you saw the f new flange that I just made today for this and uh, I got the carburetor out of the parts cleaner and got it all cleaned up and mounted this is the one that I'm going to be using if it works properly this one here has a, a manual choke on it and uh, it also has a little bit better spring on this down in here and it has throttle adjustment let me go around the other side it has a idle speed adjustment it also has um, high and low speed um, mixtures and uh, I like to be able to adjust them a little bit. So yeah, we got that all cleaned up. And uh, I did a little bit of work on the intake, cleaned it up and polished it a little bit. And I'm thinking I'm going to take it down on my buffing wheel and buff that thing so it's almost like chrome. You know what I'm saying? You can get a better look at the uh, intake, the air cleaner set up going over there. Uh, I am going to cut the flange, whoops, this flange on here that's sticking out, I think I'm going to cut that off um, and make it fit better to the air filter element. There's no air filter inside it at the moment. I'll have to come up with something. The filter that was in it was paper and it was in pretty bad shape. And uh, for those of you who are concerned about my motor mounts, I have filled those in on either side. I still got little holes. Basically, those are washers that I cut down to fit. And then over here, we put some gussets down underneath. And uh, I got to do some more grinding and finishing, of course. And um, yeah, so that's what I've spent most of my day doing. I've been out here. Oh, it's Let's see what time it is here. It's, uh, oh yeah, 20 minutes after 5. I've been out here since um, before 11 o'clock this morning. Haven't had any lunch. I got going and I didn't want to stop because I don't know about you guys, but if I stop, I'm done. Oh, now. We had talked about the gas tank before, and I had it mounted in there horizontally, and uh, I had, you know, that neat bracket, and I still have that bracket, but uh, Scott stole bolt 50. He made a wonderful suggestion, and uh, one that I'm going to throw out there, and one that I'm really thinking about using. Um... He said, what if you had the fuel tank on one side and then come around the other side and put a little toolbox on there, you know? And I thought to myself, you know what? We've been using lots and lots of Craftsman tools on this bike and uh, the little box that I had holding all my drill bits, look at that puppy. And it's 
turns out it's the same length overall and the same height, although it's not round. And I'm thinking, let me back you up here a little bit more. I'm thinking I could mount that puppy right up here. You know? Of course, uh, having the logo the right way to read it properly, you have to have it opening from the top. And of course, you wouldn't be able to put much in there. But I happen to have these pieces. Some of you will remember the uh, old toolbox that I used for my silent compressor. Well, I still had the top and the inside tool tray. And what I did was I cut the ends off of that tool tray. And I'm thinking I can mount these right in here like that. That'll give me some storage, you know, down in there. Put some spare um, chain links or, you know, whatever. And uh, maybe put a metal strap across here and just rivet it right into those holes that are already there. Those were rivet holes. And mount that down in there. Whoops. And then that will close right over there. Yeah, that's... That's what I'm thinking. The old gadget bike. Yes, sir. Getting logos going all over the place here, aren't we? So that's what I'm thinking about. Tell me what you think. I'm even wondering if I, uh, rather than repainting this motor, uh, if I should just do a really good clean job on it, maybe I can um, do a little touch up on it. But wouldn't that kind of be neat to have that that uh, cog with a five horsepower sticker still on there? You know, goes right along with the idea of being a gadget bike. So that's what I'm thinking about, and uh, that's the premise that I'm working on. And I'm hoping that I will have the uh, clutch by the end of the week. And if I get that clutch, uh, my next thing to do uh, tomorrow, uh, let's see, today's Tuesday. No, tomorrow I won't be out here. I have to take my wife grocery shopping tomorrow. So uh, maybe Thursday I'll be out here and I'll get to work on my throttle linkage. And uh, I've switched out what I'm going to use for my throttle. I had this little brake lever that came off of a Razor bike that I found at the dump and it will work just nicely and it fits, it bolts down in front of my hand grip. Remember I was talking about that last time? So I'll be able to have my whole hand on here and have good uh, reach for my brake handle and still be able to do the throttle. That's what I'm thinking about. And uh, my cable comes down to here. And I've got a, I have a mount point for that. And I just got to figure out what I'm going to use for, um, I got to change from going this way, front to back, to going side to side. So I've got to come up with some kind of a bell crank because see, the throttle, you can see that down in there. That goes side to side this way. So I got to work on that. But I I got going on this air cleaner today after putting the carburetor together and polishing up the intake. And I thought, man, I really need to get an air cleaner on this thing. And I've had it in my back of my mind to use this air cleaner for a while. And uh, so, yeah, that's where we're at. So until next time, this is George. The heat's off. Got to save the propane. And uh, I've been, it's, I've been very much appreciative of having that propane out here to take the chill off. Uh, I don't get it warm in here. Well, you can see back there at the back of the garage. Uh, there's snow blowing in underneath my garage doors. My floor is lower than the driveway. Don't ask me 
when they were building this place why they did it but when it rains the water runs in and uh, so I'm working on a solution for that been thinking about it for two years I think I got to do it this year anyway that's another story all together so anyway until next time this is me George the shade tree fix it man working on the gadget bike and saying thank you so much for all the kind comments and encouragement and ideas yeah I've had some great ideas along the line and everyone is appreciated thank you all so much for commenting and subscribing until next time this is George the shade tree fix it man saying thanks for watching bye now